Good day everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss advanced techniques in solving clock problems in algebra. Alright. Start with the problem. What time after 8 o'clock will the minute hand and the hour hand of the clock be at angle of 37.4 degrees for the second time? Let us illustrate that problem. <coughs> Excuse me. We have this 8 o'clock sharp. Then, uh, we are going to position the minute hand so that, the minute hand actually and our hand, so that they will subtend an angle of 37.4 degrees from each other. Okay? That is the first time that will occur uh, for, the two, uh, for, the, for the two lines to create a 37.4 degrees. But that this is not the required. What is required here is uh, the time that it will subtend that they will subtend an angle of 37.4 degrees for the second time all right that's the condition or that's the position of the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock okay challenge can you solve this problem in less than five seconds okay can you do that if you can do that, I'll give you a time. Five seconds starts now. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Are you done? If you still need time, just pause this video and continue later watching if, uh, if, if you're done solving the problem. To solve this problem, <coughs> excuse me. To solve this problem uh, swiftly, we, we are going to use two strategies. Number one is by multiplying, uh, is by using 60 over 11. And the other one is by using 2 over 11. Okay? You may wonder, what are these numbers? <laughs> Just continue watching. Uh, this 60 over 11, we are going to multiply this by the hour mark. Okay, and our, our marker is 1387 all over 150. We will get, uh, for, for, this sec, for this 2 over 11, we are going to multiply this by the angle. And the angle here is actually 277.4. Alright, regardless, regardless of which one you are going to use, you will come up to the same answer and that is 50.44 minutes which means that the time after eight o'clock where the hour hand and the minute hand subtend an angle of 37.4 degrees from each other from each other for the second time is 850.44 that's the answer very precise up to the hand tenths or hundreds hundreds digit in minute all right you may wonder what, where these numbers came from. What What is that 60 over 11, 2 over 11, where this came from, 13, 8, 7 over 150? You have so many questions in mind. That's why continue watching this video until the end because my goal here is for you to use this, use this uh, approach with utmost confidence. We're not going to compromise the... the principles behind the clock problem okay in fact i hope this will open a door for you so that you can develop your own strategy in creating uh solutions like this which is uh what 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 we call this shortcut solutions all right <laughs> i hope you can develop your own shortcut solution okay let us discuss the principle. Let's go back to the very basic. The relationship between the hands of the clock. We have this 3 o'clock uh, sharp, the minute hand and the hour hand. Okay? Then, let us call the, the distance between the hour marks, the 12 o'clock mark and the 1 o'clock mark, one space. Okay? We know that if the minute hand will rotate a total of 360 degrees, that is actually one hour. Which means that this this hour hand will go from three o'clock na mark 
to 4 o'clock na mark. And if we call the distance between the hour marks space, this minute hand will rotate 12 spaces. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, 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 12 spaces. While the hour hand, that is the movement of the minute hand, well, the hour hand rotate from 3 o'clock na mark to 4 o'clock na mark. That is only one space. And this is the relationship between the hour hand, the movement of the hour hand and the minute hand. Okay? What is the meaning of this quotient, 1 over 12? It means that every movement of the minute hand, the hour hand will respond 1 over 12 of that movement. Okay? The hour hand will also move 1 over 12 of the movement of that minute hand. You see that? Let us say, let us go back to 3 o'clock mark. 3 o'clock sharp. Let us say that uh, the minute hand will rotate y minutes okay uh, let us say the y minutes is here that's it that is the y minute measured from the 12 o'clock mark okay of course the hour hand will also rotate but it's not uh it will not uh go to four o'clock mark yet because it's not yet one hour so this is the movement of the hour hand the question is how much is this movement? We can express this in terms of the movement of the minute hand. And the movement of the minute hand is why according to our relationship, this movement is one, 1 over 12 of this movement. Take note, our unit also for this movement is minutes. You get that? That's it. Most of the board exam, uh, most of the problems in the board exam are only up to this point where we are going to 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 use the relationship between the minute hand and our hand but of course for uh discussion purposes we are going to include in our discussion the movement of the second hand if we have a second hand okay that's the second hand let us say that this uh let us say that the distance between the the small marks here for the second marks Okay, one minute marks. One minute, one minute, one minute, a total of five minutes here. Okay, also a space. Or let us say that if the if the second hand will rotate, will create 60 seconds. Okay, the minute hand actually move one, one space. That is the relationship. Okay, let us do that. I think I need to remove my video feed okay let me check if i have removed the video feed video feed all right let's continue we have this uh, let us repeat actually the, the our hand also moves very uh, very small amount you can uh, see that if you are going to reverse the process observe this our hand the movement of this our hand one two three four tig -tig. what is that tig -tig. <laughs> that is the movement of the our hand Okay, very small movement. Now, let's go back to our original position. We have this uh, movement of the second hand is 60 spaces. Okay? The second hand moves 60 spaces. The minute hand moves one space. Okay? This is the relationship. The meaning of this, every movement of the second hand the like like the relationship in the minute and the hour hand every movement of the second hand the minute hand will move one over 60 of that movement let us say that our second hand moved by y seconds okay of course according to this relationship the minute hand also moved by y over 60 according to this relationship y over 60 and take note our unit now is second because the lowest lo, lowest unit of time is second. We are going to use the lowest unit of time. How about the hour hand? What is the movement of the hour hand in relation to the movement of the second hand? Of course, the, move, the, the hour hand will move 1 over 12 of this movement of the minute hand. 1 over 12 times 1 over 60. That will become 1 over 720 of the movement of the second hand. 
Okay? Seconds also. That's it. That's the underlying principle. And you couple that with the geometry. Boom! Chicken joy, baby! <laughs> That's the relationship between the movement of the hour hand and the second hand. You can also do angle because this is 60 degrees. Uh, no. This is 30 degrees. Okay, 30 all over. Uh, one space actually is 30 degrees here. And, and all over 360 degrees. Okay, the same, 1 over 12. You can also use here uh one over 60 <laughs> very very easy one over one over 60 one minute that is one movement of the second hand one space between the marks here all right let us use this relationship with examples okay example what time after two o'clock Will the hands of the clock are together, perpendicular, in a straight line for the first time? To leave these problems, this type of angle relationship, or the distance between the hour hand and the and the and the minute hand, are very common in in clock problem. Most of the high school materials are with this statement together for the first time perpendicular for the first time perpendicular for the second time in a straight line for the first time and so on okay <laughs> so what time after two o'clock let us discuss this by principle based discussion okay according to what we discussed previously that relationship of the minute hand and the hour hand so let us move this minute hand okay now this is the position of the of the hands of the clock when they are together the question is what time is it how many minutes it will happen after two o'clock let us call that number of minutes y so let us solve for y it will happen at two y okay <laughs> two the time is two y of course from the two o'clock na mark up to this final position the hour hand move also this much. This is small increment. This is small amount. What is this movement? By principle, this is equal to y over 12 of the movement of the minute hand. That is y over 12. How to find the how to find the y? Uh, based on the figure, very easy. We have this y is equal to what? From the 12 o'clock na mark up to the 2 o'clock na mark, how many minutes? <laughs> we know that we are going to discuss. Uh, we are going to use the, the equation in minutes. We are going to write the equation in minutes. Minutes of time. Number of minutes of time. We have this one. 5, 10 minutes this mark. Okay? 10 minutes. Plus y over 12 to get into that position of the y. Plus y over 12. Solve for y. We have 1 minus 1 over 12. That will become 11 over 12. But y is equal to 10. Okay? 10 divided by 11 over 12. That will become 120 all over 11 minutes. Right? Then, the time of course, which is the required, is equal to 2. 1 over 20 over 11 is actually 10.91. 2, 10. Almost 2, 11. Okay? That is the answer. Okay, how about letter B? Perpendicular. They are perpendicular. Let's move to perpendicular position. That's it. They are perpendicular for the first time. Okay. What is this time? Uh, let us call this again 2y. That is the value of that is the why we are going to solve this distance. Okay, movement of the minute hand. Again, from the 2 o'clock na mark to the final position of the hour hand, this distance is equal to what? Y over 12. That is Y over 12. So, what is the value of Y? Let us uh, write the equation. From the figure, Y is equal to this position or this uh, mark, 2 o'clock na mark. How many minutes from the 12 o'clock na mark? That is 5 
10, that is 10 minutes, plus y over 12, 10 minutes. We are going to find the distance from this point up to this point, okay? That is 10 plus y over 12, all right? Plus how many minutes, right angle? 90 degrees of 90 degrees is how many minutes of time not minutes of angle <laughs> how many minutes of time that is actually 15 minutes right that is three uh, 12 o'clock 12 o'clock mark and three o'clock mark that is 15 minutes they are right at right angle also this one they are at right angle perpendicular to each other okay so 15 minutes plus 15 I will repeat, we have this 10 plus y over 12 plus 15 minutes. Solve for y. We have 1 minus 1 over 12, 11 over 12. That is equal to 25. Okay? 25 divided by 11 over 12, we get this 300 over 11 minutes. The answer is 2, 3, 300 over 11 is actually 27.27. .27. Okay? That is the answer. Right? Next, in a straight line. In a straight line. So, when we say in a straight line, because when they are together, they are also in a straight line. But when we say in a straight line, they are pointing in opposite directions. Okay? So, meaning, the position of the minute hand and the hour hand is this one. Is this one. Okay? Where is my laser pointer? <laughs> what time is it? We have this, let us call this num uh, number of minutes made by by the minute hand. Again, y minutes. And of course, the hour hand from the 2 o'clock na mark moves 1 over 12 of this movement. That will become y over 12. Okay? What is the value of y? From the figure again, y is equal to, this is again 10 minutes. Okay? Plus y over 12 again y over 12 but now but this distance a straight line is 180 degrees 180 degrees in minutes of time is actually 30 minutes okay it's like 12 o'clock and the 6 o'clock na mark that is 30 minutes okay we have this 1 minus 1 over 12 is 11 over 12 is equal to 40 all right what is the value of y 40 divided by 11 over 12 that is equal to 480 over 11. And this is our answer to 43.64. All right. <laughs> That's the basic solution. But the purpose of this problem is the shortcut of this video is the shortcut. Let us solve this problem by our shortcut method. Actually, this shortcut method, I call this the broken okay the broken clock method let us do the broken clock method <laughs> let us start with letter a together for the first time this is the two o'clock na mark and let us rotate these hands of the clock so that they will be in uh they, they will be together okay they will be in this position sir something is wrong <laughs> the move the, the hour hand did not move you got it because this clock is broken <laughs> the the hour hand is stuck at that position only the minute hand will move okay now for the solution using using the hour marks we are going to use the number 60 over 11. you can memorize that number okay sir where, where is that where that number came from we are going to discuss that later on this video <laughs> 60 over 11 times what times the hour marks where the where this uh minute hand is pointing this this hour uh, the, the the hour mark the minute hand is pointing at two o'clock mark so this is times two and that is the answer 120 over 11 okay or you can also use the angle me, me, uh you can also use the angle. Take note that the hour mark is measured from the, from the 12 o'clock na mark to the final position of the minute hand. That is the, uh, the hour marks. For the angle, we are going to use 2 over 11. And to measure the angle, it came from the 12 o'clock na mark to
to the final position of the minute hand also. Okay? The same measurement, only that this one is the hour mark, and here is the angle. This is 60 degrees. Okay? From 12 o'clock mark to the final position of the minute hand, 60. And that is the answer, 120 over 11. Okay? It's up to you which one you are going to use. <laughs> you may use this one or you may use this one. Doesn't matter. Or you may use this one. Okay? That's the answer, baby. How about perpendicular for the first time? I think you can do that in less than 5 seconds. Less than 1 second. <laughs> if you have a past hand in calculator, you can do this in, in 1 second. How about this letter B? Perpendicular. So, let's go back to our, to our uh, solution in the previous, in, in the, in the concept-wise, concept-based solution. Okay. Let's remove this figure first. And let us initiate at 2 p.m. Initialize at 2, 2 o'clock. I mean, using the broken clock method, let us move this minute hand and the the hour hand will not move because this clock is broken okay and let us position this minute hand so that it will become 90 degrees to this hour hand that is perpendicular they are perpendicular meaning this minute hand will go in this at this point the five o'clock mark this is 30 60 90 they are perpendicular to each other by our clock by 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 our mark method the broken clock method using the hour mark that will be 60 over 11 times 5 okay that is the answer 60 times 5 is 300 all right by using the angle the angle from we will use 2 of uh, 2 over 11 times the angle from 12 o'clock na mark to this point the 5 o'clock na mark that is 30 times 5 okay that is 150 uh, no, not 30. Uh, that's correct. 30, 30, 30. 30 times 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> 30 times 5, that is 150. Okay? 150 times 2. The same answer. 300 all over 11 minutes. Very easy. How about a straight line? Okay? How about in a straight line? Uh, this is the this is our solution or figure from from uh, concept based method. Okay, let's move that. And by by uh, broken clock method, we're not going to we're not going to draw. We're not going to draw the, <laughs> the the this type of drawing. In fact, you can you can solve without the drawing. Just imagine the move the, the hands of the clock. Which means that the hands of the clock, the, the 2 o'clock mark is pointing at the 2 o'clock. The, the hour hand is pointing at the 2 o'clock. And this minute hand will point opposite to the 2 o'clock two o'clock mark. Which means it will point to 8 o'clock mark. By using the hour marks, we are going to use the number 60 over 11 times 8. That is the answer. 60 times 8 is 480 over 11. Okay? And using the angle, how... How many degrees from from uh, 12 o'clock mark to 8 o'clock mark? Okay, that is 30 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 30 times 8, of course. 30 times 8. Okay? 2 over 11 times 240 degrees. That is 30 times 8, 240. That is the answer. 480 over 11. Chicken joy, baby. <laughs> That's it. That's the shortcut solution. 60 over 11 times the hour mark. Uh, 2 over 11 times the number of angles. Sir, I already encountered that approach, but it's only applicable to quadrantal angle, like like together, perpendicular, straight line. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know your source, but if that is your source, meaning... Uh, they did not get the the concept, the full concept of the method. Okay, M maybe they are following the method blindly. 
if if you have this method don't just follow blindly go go for the core concept okay that's why if you are going to study anything and if you are going to study especially mathematics go with the basics the basic concepts because if you go with the basic uh you can create or you can develop your own strategy in solving in attacking any problem right now this is actually applicable to any angle not not just quadrantal angle let us say this uh problem let's go back to our to our uh, number one problem how to solve this one okay this is 37.4 degrees by our mark uh, by our mark let us have this one y is equal to 60 over 11. of course we are going to use the what's that we are going to uh to use the broken the broken clock method which means that this hour hand will remain at eight o'clock mark okay we are only going to move this minute hand okay the moment the minute hand will will subtend an angle of 37.4 degrees for the second time that is the position where we are going to solve okay with the hour hand is stuck at eight o'clock the broken clock method okay this is the 37.4 degrees so what is our y what is our y 60 over 11 times what how to get this number that is actually this that number is actually the hour mark at this position okay the hour mark at this position how to do that that is eight the the hour marker is eight plus 37.4 but take note that 37.4 is angle not an hour mark so we are going to convert that into hour mark how to convert this into unit hour okay note that every every uh hour 30 degrees which means we are going to divide this one 37.4 by 30 that's the number that's the answer boom <laughs> you're done that's it how about by angle so by angle we are going to use the number 2 over 11 okay then we're going to write the angle here from this from this uh 12 o'clock na mark up to this point up to that point what is the angle let let me write it in in another color may i use uh hello okay from 12 o'clock na mark up to this point we need to find this angle okay that angle actually is first we have this 80 i uh, know 8 times 30 8 times 30 okay plus okay 8 times 30 is from here up to here okay 8 times 30 that's the 8 times 30 degrees okay plus 37.4 that's that 277.4 degrees and that is the answer Bebe. very easy anytime you can do that any relationship between the angle not, not not confined by by quadrantal angles okay any angle will do next now the, the purpose of this video actually is for us to understand what happened where this formula came from this 60 over 11 our shortcut or 2 over 11 either of the two will do okay let's go back to the very basic let us generalize our our uh discussion let us say that the minute hand and the hour hand of the clock subtend an angle of x degrees okay you can use theta if you want to i just use x for for this discussion okay but take note that x is an angle that's why it is convenient if you are going to use yourself theta 
Okay? <laughs> so, what time is it? Let us call that, uh, in this case, 3, 3 Y. Okay? That this is our Y from the 12 o'clock na mark to the minute hand Y. And of course, from the from the 3 o'clock na mark to the hour hand, the movement of the hour hand is actually this one, which is equal to Y over 12. And from here to here, we are going to use the 3 o'clock hour mark. This is our hour mark. It happened that we are used, we, we are at 3, 3 o'clock. So what is the value of Y in terms of X and H? The hour hand, uh, no, this is not the hour hand. This is the hour mark. Okay, from the figure, we can write Y is equal to what? From here to here, that is our mark. But of course, our equation is in minutes according to our discussion earlier in this video. We are going to write our equation in unit of time minutes. So how many minutes from here to here? Every hour marks 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, a total of 15 minutes. This is actually number of uh, the hour marks times 5. Okay? Plus y over 12. Where this 5 came from? This is conversion from hour mark to minutes. I will repeat. 5 minutes times plus 5 minutes plus 5 minutes, a total of 5 times h minutes. Our h here is 3. Okay? Plus y over 12. Plus angle x. Take note that this, this x is not compatible with the minutes of 9. We are going to convert this, this into minutes. What is the conversion? Uh, very easy. Uh, we know that we know that where is my laser pointer and my, my pen. We, we know that uh, 60 minutes is equivalent to 360 degrees, one revolution. Okay? 60 minutes of time, 360 degrees uh, angle. This is also equal to, uh, if you want, 15 minutes of time, 90 degrees of angle. Okay? And this is 1 out of 6. And that is the conversion. So we are going to divide this x by 6 to convert degree into minutes. Now, all our units here are compatible. This is in minutes. This is in this is in hour, but multiplied by 5, it will become minute. Of course, this is also minutes. And this is also minutes already because we divide it by 6. Okay? We can proceed. 1 minus 1 over 12, that will become 11 over 12 of y, plus is equal to 5h plus x over 6. Divide both sides of the equation by 11 over 12. We have this y is equal to 5 divided by 11 over 12, that will be 60 over 11. ta -da! <laughs> that, that is the, this, uh, where that 60 over 11 came from? It came from here, 60 over 11 of the hour marks, plus 11 over 12. Okay, 11 over 12. As 1 sixth, I mean, 1 sixth divided by 11 over 12. That will become 2 over 11. Ta -da! Times the angle in degrees. Where the 2 over 11 came from? <laughs> they came from here. Okay? From this equation, 20, 60 over 11 and 2 over 11. Times the hour marks times the angle. You see that? Now, there are instances that our angle or our, <coughs> excuse me, our minute hand is, uh, will not pass through the hour hand yet. What I mean is this one. The position of the minute hand and the hour hand is this one. Where are you? Okay, and this is the X degrees, which means that the minute hand is still at the back of the hour hand. If you are going to, if you are going to say front for the movement that is clockwise, Oh, of course, this is a clock. <laughs> the clockwise movement in the clockwise direction, we call that the front and at the back. Uh, and in if we go counterclockwise, that is at the back. Okay. So our minute hand is at the back of the of the of the hour hand in this position. What is this time? We, let us call this again three y. Okay. This ang this number of minutes here is y minutes. What is the value of y? Of course, this movement of the hour hand is 
y over 12. Okay, that is y over 12. Let us write the equation for the value of y. We have this y. And this is the hour mark. y. Okay? Plus x degrees. Of course, we are going to convert this into minutes. How to do that? Divide it by 6. Okay? If you cannot memorize the, that over 6, just do the proportion 15 minutes, 90 degrees. All over 90. This is 15 over 90 or that proportion uh, 60 minutes all over 360 degrees. Okay? To convert that. That is also 1 over 6. They are also 1 over 6. We have this one. Is equal to y plus x degrees. We, that is the equation. We came from, from 12 o'clock mark up to this point. That is the y plus x over 6. From this mark up to this point. Okay? That is also equal to the hour mark. 5, 10, 15. Okay? The hour mark, which is 3 here times 5 to convert that into minutes plus y over 12 okay 1 minus y of 1 over 12 is 11 over 12 of y then 5h minus x over 6 transpose this one then divide 11 over 12 both sides we have this y is equal to 60 over 11 again of h and this one is minus 2 over 11 again of x okay that is our equation. If you observe that equation into compare this equation into here, we only have the difference of sine in the angle. Okay? So we can write our equation this way 60 over uh, plus or minus for 2 over 11 of x plus 60 over 11 of h. Now, this plus or minus are actually only represents the, the position of the minute hand with respect to the hour hand. Positive, if the if the minute hand is at the front of the hour hand. Negative, if the minute hand is at the back of the hour hand. That's it. That is our equation. <laughs> Let us try this with our problem. Okay? How to use this equation? Let us say for, from our problem, using that whole equation. Let me write that whole equation. Uh, pen. Okay, our equation is 60 over 11 of the hour mark plus 2 over plus or minus plus 2 over 11 of the angle. Okay, of the angle. So we have this one. The number of hours, this we are, we are going to solve this y, this, this uh, value, this is the y from the 12 o'clock mark. To the minute hand this is the actual position this is not the broken clock method this is actually the the equivalent to that drawing in our figure uh, in in our previous solution the the concept based solution okay we have this y is equal to 60 over 11 of the hour mark of course we are going to use the hour mark of the the eight o'clock okay for the base hour mark 8 o'clock plus 2 over 11 of the final position angle 37.4 that is the answer okay 50.44 you can do that i will not check it here 50.44 that's it that's how to use that problem but but sir uh when we solve this this uh problem earlier you just use Directly use this one, I either 60 over 11 only or 2 over 11 only, not both. Why is that so? Okay. <laughs> Let us understand this equation. Let us understand this equation. The idea is to understand fully this equation. Uh, let us discuss that. Of course, it will help us if we have an example. Okay. This equation actually... Uh, let, let's have this example. Where is my example? This one. This this equation actually is uh, linear in x. That's why I use x here inst instead of theta. So that it is very easy to see that this is linear in x. 
straight line. This is in the form y is equal to mx mx plus b. Okay? Which means that this quantity this quantity is actually the y-intercept in the xy plane. y-intercept. And this quantity is the slope of our line. Okay? Take note that our slope here is positive. We are going to use positive slope because this plus or minus, this represents only the position of the hour hand with res uh, of the minute hand with respect to the hour hand. So we can plot this graph straight line in the xy plane. Okay? Let us plot this this equation in the xy plane. We have this uh, y intercept 60 over 11. We have this problem. What time after 4 o'clock will the minute hand and the hour hand of the clock be at angle of 60 degrees? Okay, that is the question. So we are going to start at at the y intercept. The y intercept is 60 over 11 of h. If you are going to use h is equal to 4, okay, that is 21.82. Let me write it here. We have this 21, uh, 60 over 11 times 4. That is 21.82. And we have a line that will pass through this y intercept. A straight line with this slope 2 over 11. So, meaning this is our line. Okay? A positive, an upward line. A slope is positive 2 over 11. Y intercept 21.82. Okay? Now, the question is what time after 4 o'clock that, excuse me, <coughs> that this, uh, the angle of the clock, the, the hands of the clock will subtend 60 degrees angle. Now let's do that. Let's uh, move this equation. Erase the writings and let us illustrate using the, the, what is that? The position of the hour hand, the final position. This is not the broken, the broken clock method. This is the actual movement of the minute hand and the hour hand. Okay, this is the 60 degrees for the first time. That is the 60 degrees for the first time. What time is it? Because in this position, the hour hand is behind behind the minute hand or at the back. The minute hand, I mean, is behind the, uh, the hour hand or the, the minute hand is at the back of the hour hand. We are going to use negative for, to, to solve for the value of y. Which means that our angle 60 is actually to the left of the origin. So, to solve for the y1, this is our angle 60, negative 60. That's it. That's the purpose of plus or minus here. Negative 60. Now, what is the ordinate of this line at x is equal to negative 60? What is y1? Uh, you can use this equation. Okay? The equation of this line is 60 over 11 of h, uh, our h is 4, that's it, minus, when we say minus, we are going to drop by this amount. This is actually 2 over 11 of x, okay? That is the value of y, 21.82, this is the 21.82, this value here, 21.82 minus 2 over 11 of x. Okay. Let us erase that one. Replace this by line. Okay. This portion here is 2 over 11 of x. You drop by 2 over 11 of x. At only that 2 over 11, you can appreciate that with y is equal to the, the slope. The slope is rise over run. Rise over run, which means that we solve for the rise. Okay. The rise is actually the slope. The slope times the run. Okay, this is the run. It's equal to 60. Okay? That's why to find this height, to find this height, we have this slope, 2 over 11 times the run, 60. 
21.82 minus the the rise that is the y1 you see that <laughs> how about for the second time 60 degrees for the second time okay let us erase that writings we have this position of the hour hand and minute hand to sub 10 60 degrees angle for the second time that's it what time is it this is the 60 degrees okay and this is the angle okay let me check if for, for the video feed all right let's continue our our minute hand now is at the front of the hour hand which means that we are going to use positive 60 degrees okay our x is angle our x is angle positive 60 degrees the question here is what is the value of y2 so we are going to project the 60 degrees to the line and what is the ordinate of this line we call that y2 now to do that of course we are going to add 21.82 which is this one let me change color uh-huh may use this color mm. it's dark orange this the same color <laughs> this uh 60 over 11 of inch is this one again of course we mentioned it earlier and this 2 over 11 of x is actually this vertical distance here vertical distance okay this vertical distance is 2 over 11 of x. Where x is the run? Okay. x is equal to the run. From the equation, slope is equal to rise over run. And our slope here is 2 over 11. That's it. <laughs> That's how we interpret that equation. How about, sir, for the solution with using 60 over 11 alone, no 2 over 11 of x, or the 2 over 11 alone, with uh, without using the 60 over 11 of h? How to do that? <laughs> the answer is translation of access. We are going to translate the access instead of making our origin at here. We are going to translate this point to the x intercept okay to eliminate the other the, this this h this value of h Let, let's do that okay this point we're going to translate it here now that is the broken clock method concept that is actually translation of access okay this is now our origin okay take note that this origin from the original equation uh, this is the x-center set. What we did is, we just we just put this h into zero. We 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 push that into the x-axis. Okay, that's why this is not included in the solution. You get that? Now, we are not going to concern ourselves here ourselves here in in if if the if the minute hand is at the back of the hour hand, or it is the, the front of the of the hour hand doesn't matter anymore because everything here is to the right of this point in this graph so meaning for 60 degrees for the first time broken broken clock method okay this will not move 60 degrees for the first time it will go to the two o'clock mark which means by by angle this is 60 degrees so from here forward with 60 degrees okay the question is, what is the value of y? We call that y1. Oh, y1, rise over run. That's it. <laughs> y1 actually is rise over run. This is equal to uh, slope is rise over run. Let me write it that again. Rise over run. The rise is slope times the run. The run is 60. That's it. 2 over 11 times 60. The x. Okay. How about 60 degrees for the second time? Okay. This is 60 degrees. 30, 30. Okay. For the second time, we move actually from 12 o'clock na mark 
to 6 o'clock mark, a total of 180 degrees. Take note that x from here is when we use the when we use the broken clock method, our reference point becomes the the this uh, 12 o'clock na mark. In non non broken clock method, our reference point is the 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 initial point of the hour hand, initial position of the hour hand. Okay, so this will become 180 degrees. What is that y2? So by rise over run, we have this 180 times 2 over 11. That is the answer. Okay. Very easy. Sir, how about the other one? That's 60 over 11. Of course, that is also a straight line. We are going to consider 2 over 11 as constant and 60 over and h as the variable, which means which which means that we are going to replace x with h. If we have the same line, replace x with h, like that one. What is y1? Oh, the, the x is no longer included in the equation. Okay? So, for the value of, for the value of y, we have this, at, at a time when the minute hand will subtend an angle, the broken clock method by our marks, subtend an angle of 60 degrees for the first time, the minute hand will point exactly at the 2 o'clock mark. Okay? 60 over 11 times 2. That is the answer. Okay? For the second time, this minute hand will point directly at the 6 o'clock mark. That's why our H here is 6. 6 times 60 over 11, that is the answer. Okay? That's why when you do that in our example number 1, okay, you, you don't have to use both 60 over 11 and 2 over 11 because we use the broken clock method that is actually translation of access. I hope you get something from this video. Okay? And thank you for watching. Bye-bye!